Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a back brace life hacks video. It's just going to be focusing on some life hacks just to make your life a little bit easier with your back brace. Before starting this video, I did want to give you guys a little announcement and that is that I'm done with my brace. Uh, finally, after three years, I'm done with all of my braces. I did two pectus coronatum braces and two scoliosis brace and I'm just finished with my last one, which was my nighttime brace. So it was this brace. I'm done with this finally. Um, I've been wearing this for, I think about like nine months or so, uh, but I'm done. So I'm officially done with all my braces, which is kind of crazy to me. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've been wearing a brace, but also I feel like it was just yesterday when I found out that I had to wear a brace. I, I don't know, but that doesn't mean that I'm done with my YouTube channel. I'm still gonna try posting and I'm even gonna maybe try posting every week. I'd love to post every week, but I, I really don't have any more ideas left for back braces. So if you do have any recommendations or you know, if you would like more information on something then definitely comment below any video suggestions and i'll make sure to do one so i think my next video is going to be a q a video so if you'd like to drop a question down below it would honestly be really great so for reference this is what my back brace looks like don't mind the drawings i'll be talking about that uh, throughout the video it's just a normal looking brace yeah so without further ado let's get on with the video so my first life hack is a body pillow. I recommend this so, so much. It's really, really helpful, especially for your first months in a back brace. I think that's really what helped me fall asleep and you know be able to sleep in a back brace during the first month. I think everyone knows what a body pillow is, but it's basically just a really long pillow, but you know, for your whole body, not just for your head. And it's mostly used for pregnant women, but it's really helpful for back braces. Like I said, it really helps with your first months. When I first started wearing a back brace, it was definitely super, super weird, but the body pillow really helps. Um, it was just so much more comfortable. It helped me fall asleep so easily. The weird thing is after like a couple of months of using my body pillow, it just kind of gets uncomfortable for me and I just stop using it. I feel like for most people, when you use a body pillow, like you use it, you know, until you're done with your back brace. But for me, I honestly just needed it for the first months and that was it. So body pillows, can be pretty expensive but they can also be pretty cheap there are some body pillows that are under $20 and then some that are even more than $60 I got mine for $40 and it's it worked perfectly fine I can't seem to find the exact one that I got I'll still link the one that I think is the most similar to mine so the second life hack that I have for you guys is kind of a clothing tips one and that is undershirts so shirts you wear under your back brace and I have three types that I'll be talking about and that I used during the time that I wore a back brace. So the first one is a cotton t-shirt. So this is the t-shirt that I use the most often. When I wore a night brace, uh, cotton t-shirts were the only t-shirts that I used um, under my back brace. It's so comfortable. Cotton t-shirts are honestly my number one recommendation um, for uh, t-shirts to wear under your back brace. So the second one is gonna be camisole shirts. I really recommend these shirts when you wanna wear a little more like fancy types of uh, shirts or dresses over your back brace. I didn't really wear camisole shirts when I was going to sleep or I was just like wearing a sweatshirt or a hoodie over my back brace but when I did want to wear like fancy shirts and like you know maybe a fancy dress I always wore camisole shirts but when you're wearing a cotton t-shirt that like a normal t-shirt you don't really want that showing under your dress so the reason why I didn't wear camisole shirts when I wasn't wearing something fancy over my brace is that they're honestly not the most comfortable choice I feel since they cover less than a normal cotton t-shirt your brace can definitely start rubbing your skin um, in some areas that the camisole t-shirt doesn't cover so I don't really recommend this if you're like just going to sleep or if you're just gonna wear a hoodie over your back brace it's not really the best choice but every single back brace is different so honestly I really can't tell if a uh, camisole shirt is perfect for your type of brace. Some braces are totally fine with camisole shirts, so you definitely should uh, check that out. So the next and last t-shirt that I'm going to be talking about is a polyester shirt. I think that's how you call it. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Polyester shirts are, I think, what doctors recommend the most. At least that's what my doctors recommended me. I did at the beginning, but then I just switched over to con t-shirt just because the polyester shirt, like, it just really smelled bad at the end of the day. And I was just not a huge fan of it. It wasn't as comfortable as cotton shirts. They still also work. And like I said, every brace is different. Every body is different. You might prefer polyester shirts over cotton t-shirts. So the reason why polyester shirts are more recommended is because they wrinkle way less than cotton t-shirts. You probably relate as well. When you wear like a cotton t-shirt under a back brace and you take off your back brace, your t-shirt is all wrinkled up. And obviously your skin literally shows those wrinkle marks. So like there's a lot of red marks, but when you wear a polyester shirt, um, they don't really wrinkle. So um, you won't have any marks under your skin. So it won't like really hurt. It's definitely 
like one of the best choices to wear under your back brace um, but like I said it wasn't really as comfortable as cotton t-shirts for me and also it really really stinked um, especially after a really hot day when it's summer obviously you sweat a lot especially with the back brace so uh, polyester shirts kind of stink at the end of the day so that was my three uh, undershirts recommendation the next life hack I have for you guys is kind of weird and uh, very, very random. Brace yourselves. Drawing on your back brace. It might seem very weird at first, but honestly, this is what I consider a life hack. It's like a must need, I feel, for your brace. It's really just a nice way to make your brace like more homey, more you, like more original, more fun to wear, I feel. This is honestly just a really nice way to kind of boost your confidence, kind of a nice way to be more motivated to wear the brace, I feel, um, and that is to draw on your back brace. So I've talked about drawing on my back brace like pretty much in all of my videos. Um, if you're a subscriber, then you're probably annoyed by the amount of times I talk about this but let me do it again we have here the rock hard abs the robot arms and the turtle shell so they're all three puns for back braces i'm so sorry if you're like a subscriber and you've heard me say these three jokes like 500 times i am truly sorry in advance i really recommend it it's just so fun and um, it's so fun to do obviously and also it just really helps it's just nice to like wear around the house just like with your little turtle shell um on the back obviously you don't have to like draw the exact things that i drew but if you just want to draw something that's original to you definitely i recommend it so much it really is a way to make your brace a more kind of a positive thing in your life than like a negative thing so my next life hack is a back brace bag always always bring a back brace bag wherever you're going i recommend it especially during your first months in a back brace i recommend taking a back brace bag whether you're going on a hike um, whether you're going to school whether you're going to the mall uh, really wherever you're going your back brace can really just randomly start hurting you you can start really feeling sore i recommend like always taking it off if it hurts too much you don't want to be putting your back brace just randomly on the floor you know on the ground uh, without any bag because someone can step on it or trip on it it might break or you might even forget it if it just on the ground so i really recommend uh, putting in a back brace bag um so it could just be a duffel bag it can just be any type of bag really that just fits your back brace so that way um, it kind of protects your back brace and it's definitely easier to carry around i always took it for like sports class so that um, when i had to take it off i would always put it in that bag uh, so it's in a safe spot while i do my sports and then after when i want to put it back i can just you know take it out of my back brace and just put it on i was like so excited when i got my back brace bag it, it's really weird it's just I really liked how it looked and I thought it was like so fashionable or something so I was literally excited. It really is sad when you get excited to get a back brace bag. I mean, it's just a duffel bag. My fifth hack is alcohol wipes. Super, super important as well. This is especially important during the summertime and you know, during any time when it's really hot. Um, but your back brace can really smell like really bad um, and honestly even if it's like winter even if it's really cold this is like super important alcohol wipes are i think like the easiest way to just clean your brace you probably only need like one or two alcohol wipes to clean your back brace completely i recommend doing it maybe once or twice a week maybe even every day if uh you had like a really warm day and you were extra sweating that day then um, maybe use it every day but honestly i would do it like once or twice every week they're portable they're really easy to use um it's just the best way to clean a back brace so this is like a really important life hack uh, for your back brace a must need now the next life hack is once again a clothing tips life hack and that is to never ever wear leggings with your back brace i'm not gonna lie i never actually wore leggings in a back brace but like it's common knowledge here in the back brace community to never wear leggings um, over your back brace now, obviously you can always wear it under but um I've said it in a lot of my videos, I never recommend to put leggings under your back brace. Just never put leggings over your back brace. That creates like holes in your leggings. It like really just basically just destroys your leggings. So definitely never wear leggings over your back brace. And also when you wear a leggings over your back brace, your back brace definitely shows. It's very visible. Now I'm not one to judge. It really doesn't matter if your back brace is showing, but uh, with leggings, it, like it really, really shows. Now my next life hack for back brace is kind of not really a life hack, but it's something that I talk about in basically all of my videos, and that is to always create a community with your back brace. This is advice that I definitely should have had um, when I first started wearing my back brace because it's so important. Find that community to support you and your back brace. Now obviously I had my friends, I had my family, they were amazing to me, they were so kind. Um, you know, they supported me during this hard, hard time in my life. My friends didn't have scoliosis, they didn't have back braces, so it wasn't like I could talk to them about it because um, they wouldn't understand.
On Instagram, there are so, so many Instagram accounts that have scoliosis and that have back braces. Now, honestly, most of them I think have had surgery, but whether or not you have surgery or not, like those accounts are perfect. But also there's so many accounts that just have back braces. Now I have an Instagram as well. It's just called my back brace. I'm not saying guys this to just plug in my ads and like for you to follow me. Um, I'm just telling you, this is my Instagram. If you want to DM me, I don't know. If you just want support, then definitely shoot me a DM. Um, or just DM so many of these other accounts. Really just look up scoliosis or back brace on Instagram and you will find countless amounts of Instagram that really have that community. Obviously when you go on YouTube, there's gonna be a couple of other people, but like I'm talking about Instagram, especially if you really wanna talk to people, not just like look at their content. So I'm in also a lot of group chats uh, for scoliosis. So I can just like talk about my back brace and scoliosis struggles. But it was really great to like uh, feel not alone because at the beginning I really did feel alone. Nobody that I knew had scoliosis or had a back brace so I, I felt really alone and I just didn't know who I could talk to about it. So the internet is filled with people that have uh, scoliosis and a back braces and surgery if you had or if you're going to have surgery. Facebook also is an amazing community for scoliosis. There's a lot of Facebook groups for scoliosis or back braces or scoliosis surgeries. Definitely recommend it. So my next and last life hack is also clothing related and that is to find a couple of like fancy outfits uh, for your braids. Like I said in so many of my videos, I used to like only wear sweatshirts, sweatpants, like you know, all of the easy clothes they can wear over your back braces to hide it. I felt so restricted, um, I couldn't like wear the clothes that I wanted. There are so many clothes you can wear over your back brace like that are fancy, that are original, um, that are not just like sweatshirts and sweatpants. I have already three videos in my back brace outfits playlist. List. I'm going to be making a fourth one that's going to be basically just a summer lookbook with a back brace. Go out, go to the mall, buy like a couple of outfits that you think will work with your back brace and that are like definitely more fancy, that are definitely out of your comfort zone. So whether that's a dress or just a fancy shirt, um, anything that's like not just a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or sweatpants, um, it definitely helps, I think, boost your confidence. It definitely helps you feel like less restricted with your back brace. It just helps having a better back brace experience. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I really hope it was really helpful to you. Comment below which life hack is honestly the most important to you or the life hack that you already use. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch more, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified for my new videos and if you really like this video then make sure to click the like button um, and if you didn't like it then um, that's sad thank you guys so so much for watching bye